What's up everyone, the day has finally come where VRChat's new quick menu is going to be literally in our hands very soon. If you remember VRChat's recent developer livestream, they showed off a new quick menu that was much more visually pleasing and accessible. That new quick menu is now available in open beta as part of the UI 1.5 update. Obviously, there are a lot of big changes compared to the old menu, so I figured I'd create this video to help guide people through the updated UI. We'll go over some major changes, as well as some minor details you might not immediately notice. Before we start, I'd like to mention again that this menu is still in open beta. So, what you see here and what you see in the final release may be different. With that being said, let's get right into it, starting with tabs. Upon opening the quick menu, you'll find yourself in the launch pad. The info banner on the top of here is used to show you relevant VR chat news such as new updates, events, tips, etc. Clicking on some of these will prompt you to open a link in your default web browser. Down in quick links, you'll find a few familiar links to the main menu. Worlds, avatars, social, and safety. Clicking any of these will open up their page on the main menu. Quick Actions contains some commonly used functions found on the older menu, Go Home, Respawn, and the Emoji menu. The Emoji menu in particular is now sorted into categories, including a category for recently used emojis. The third button under Quick Actions is used to select users in desktop mode, set your play mode to sitting or standing while you're in VR, and to calibrate full body when using six-point tracking. The next tab is the Notifications tab. It's pretty much the same notification tab as before, but now has some bigger buttons and smooth animations. The Here tab shows you info about the current instance you're in, such as instance type, region, world, and the name of the instance owner. Under World Actions, you can report the world, add it to a playlist, create a new instance of that world, or quickly rejoin the current world. You can also select any user currently in the world and use quick menu actions on them like blocking and muting. The camera tab provides every available camera option, including something that's very interesting which I'll get back to in a minute. From the audio tab, you can adjust the volume for master, world, voice, and avatars right from the quick menu, as well as change your current microphone. And finally, the Settings tab contains many adjustable UI elements as well as debug information such as frames per second and ping. Next, let's move on to Wings. Wings are a brand new addition to the Quick menu. They appear on the left and right sides and give you quick access to common VR chat functions. First, there's the Profile Wing. This wing displays a small view of your profile, your current status, your current avatar, the world you're currently in, the amount of friends you currently have online, and a button to switch between ranks. Clicking on most of these will open their corresponding page in the main menu. Next, the friends wing shows you your online friends list. You can choose to show everyone online or from your favorite groups. In addition, you can sort by location to prioritize viewing users that aren't in private worlds. Friend locations has been on the VRChat website for a long time now, so it's nice to see it finally making its way to the client. The avatar wing displays your uploaded and favorited avatars, which can be sorted by alphabetical, date added, and last updated. You can switch to any of these avatars at the click of a button. The emoji wing is similar to the emoji menu in the launch pad, with emojis being sorted into categories. Finally, the expression wing lets you access your avatar's expression menu, or emotes if you're using an SDK2 avatar. Previously, the expression menu was only available through the action menu, so it's nice to have this extra option. And so that's it for the wings. Next up, the VRChat camera has been completely redesigned. Finally, after so many years of struggling to hit the timer button, we now have a camera that's much more easy to use and has some new features as well. For starters, the camera UI is now underneath the camera, which lets you select options with the pointer instead of painstakingly trying to click buttons. You can click and drag to scroll through the options, or scroll using the thumbstick. There's also depth of field options for the new camera, which before was something that could only be done with avatar prefabs like VRC lens. You can go autofocus, semi-auto to adjust f-stop, or full manual to also adjust focal distance. And of course you have all the functions from the older camera as well, such as filters and pins. 
In addition, on the camera's interface, there's a button to quickly flip the camera lens around, as well as zoom in and out. Alright, next up, let's talk about desktop improvements. In desktop, when opening the new quick menu, the cursor no longer locks your mouse to the VR chat window. Instead, the cursor changes into screen space mode, giving you an actual cursor, making it way easier to navigate the menu. If you want to select a user around you, you can click the button on the launch pad. Or you can hold down shift to temporarily hide the quick menu and enable a reticle to select a user. Lastly, a couple of smaller details about this update I'd like to quickly go over, most of which are quality of life improvements. First, you can now view the author of the avatar you're currently wearing or any favorited avatars. All you have to do is go to the avatar menu in the main menu, click on avatar details, and there's a button to view the avatar author. Previously, if you wanted to view the author of an avatar you were wearing, you'd have to get someone to clone it so you could select them, which was pretty annoying. So thankfully, you don't have to do that anymore. Next, Safe Mode now has a dedicated button in the bottom right corner of the quick menu at all times. You can click this button once to disable the avatar and voice of everyone but your friends. To disable Safe Mode, click the button again and your previous safety settings will be restored. In the Expressions wing, you can place puppet menus at exact points. So for example, if you have a tail puppet, you can place it at a certain point and have it stay in that position. And so, that about covers the new quick menu. If you want to keep watching, you can check out the new features we got in the previous VR chat update. I'll have a link to that video right up here. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.